Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we covered the direct method for filtering of NumPy arrays. And today we are going to do some more examples on array filtering. So let's get started. So we covered three methods of array filtering so far. That is using Boolean index list, the filter method and the direct method. We also filtered the even and odd elements of a sequence using filter method and direct method. Now let's see how can we filter the even and odd elements of a sequence using the Boolean index list. Because in previous examples, we used to specify the Boolean index list beforehand. But now we are going to create Boolean index list using the append method. That is, first of all, we'll create an empty Boolean list and then we'll insert the element as true or false according to a certain given condition. So let's move on to the coding part. So I'm going to open my terminal, write Python 3 and hit enter. Now I'm going to import numpy as np and hit enter. So let's create a filter array that will only return even values from the original array or original sequence. So first of all, we need to create an array and then we are going to create a filter array that will return only even values from that array. So I've created an array. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to create an empty filter first. So the filter is empty. It does not contain any Boolean value initially. Now I'll create a for loop. And if the element is divisible by two, that is the mod is equal to equal to zero, then I'm gonna append true value in the filtered array. So if it's even, the corresponding element in the filtered array will be true. And if it is odd, the corresponding value in the filtered array will be false. So we did not initially specify the value in the filter, but we are appending the values based on certain conditions. Now I'm gonna store the values in the new array. So I've stored the values in a new array. It is giving me an error because of the wrong brackets. I need to use a square bracket here. So please, please keep these things in your mind while executing your code. Otherwise you will get an error like me. So I need to change the brackets that I did and I'm go gonna print the new array now. So print new. It is giving me all the even values in the array. So we got the result as even elements. Let's understand what 
actually happened. So this thing appears quite complicated when we observe it for the first time because you might be wondering why create an empty filter first and then insert the true or false values in it. We do it because we don't know beforehand that what values are we gonna get. So sometimes we have to take the array as input from the user. So that's the case. Now what actually happened is the filter stored the boolean values that were assigned with the help of loop or that were appended to the filter array. So the array filter is nothing but a boolean index list which was used to iterate which was used to filter the even elements from the array with the help of iteration and using a for loop. Now for odd elements we need to follow the same procedure. We just need to change the selection condition that is array name or ARR mod of 2 not equal to 0. In this case we have to append true. So I have to change the condition. So in case of not equal to 0 I have to in case of not equal to 0 I have to store true or also I can do is in case of equal to equal to 0 I can append false and otherwise I can append true else filter dot append true. So you can follow any of the two approaches that I have suggested. So now I'm going to store the result in a new array and so it is giving me an error. Exactly, it should give me an error because there are now 20 values in the filter because 10 were the initial values from the previous example and 10 values are from this example. So filter has 20 values which is why we are getting an error message. So please be careful because you might do the same mistake. Now the error is that filter already contained some values and we added values to it. So what you can do is that you can create a new filter and then you can store the result in a new array. So I'm giving you the this thing as an assignment, create a new array, a new filter, a new array instead of using the same code. So this is your assignment. So an assignment is to create a filter for filtering odd values or odd elements from the same array which we used in this example. Now we have one more assignment for you. So the second assignment is to create a filter for filtering the elements from the array in the given example. So filter the elements from array in given example. or in this video lecture which are greater than 4. So in this video we discussed some examples based on filtering using boolean index list. That will be all for today. 
This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture. Thank you.